Next, we have uh, Dr. Tan Hock Soon, the manager of the Future Media Testbed. He will share with you uh, what we have on the testbed and how we can work with the testbed. Dr. Tan? Okay, uh, thank you, Desmond. Okay, I think... Um, I think I see many friends down here and I should not belabor the point. And most of you are probably quite familiar with this set of tech. But there are some people who are asking me just now, um, what is the test page? So I, I, I feel that I probably have to say a few words about the test page. Okay, so uh, test page at Tomasic Polytechnic called Future Media, uh, Code Space Test page. This is a funded project uh, by MDA. We are tasked uh, basically to help uh, bridge the gap right, uh, for startup companies uh, to meet up with the demand drivers. So you can see that uh, our focus area is on uh, media, uh, basically media consumption. We want to make media enriching, engaging, and easy for people to consume. So the test bit basically helps the startup company provide resources for them to do their testing. We provide users who will use their product, who will then uh, give comments on, uh, on how the product is, uh, how is the standard of the product, whether it's usable, things like that. And also, we try to match make. Okay, we try to match make. So if you look at the set of slides, then you see that uh, the test bed is positioned when you actually have almost complete a product. Okay, you're at a phase where your product is almost ready, you want people to test it, right? So I mentioned just now that uh, on the test bed itself, we have go-to-market partners and we run events like this AWS, the Accelerated Workshop Series, so that we can help the demand drivers as well as the startup companies meet. Okay, so the series of workshops that we'll be carrying out, even after the event, uh, will aim to tune all these proposals so that uh, they can be used immediately after it is created. We have test users and, of course, common shared services. Common shared services, I should not belabor the point. These are sponsored services by various companies like Singtel, Microsoft, and so on, uh, that uh, the companies can use on our test bed. Okay? Uh, for the list of the test bed, uh, what are the equipment and so on that you can use, uh, you can check out our website. I'll point it out uh, later on. So some of our past success cases where we help uh, the startup companies meet the demand. They just uh, look at one example that we just completed in uh, in May. So this this project is by the company called uh, Portage. I think you saw it in the newspaper. It's called VAMS, uh, Vitals and Attendance Monitoring System. Came out came about because recently uh, there's a spate of this uh, HFMD right in the childcare centers, and MCYS was saying that hey, uh, they, there's a need uh, to actually have real time information to monitor quickly whether there's a rising trend or such kind of uh, disease that is coming up. So uh, what we did was we helped bridge MCYS to one of the start companies we know that is actually uh, making sensors of this nature. And basically this system is able to take uh, not only just the temperature, they can take other vitals information, they can also take attendance. So in a sense actually it helped uh, to increase productivity in the childcare center, reducing the need for three person to one person to take the temperature because every day they have to take it at least three times. So just walk through the system, right? Within three seconds, all the information is captured. You don't need to record it, make mistakes, right? It's all captured in the database and sent automatically, okay? So this is just a test case and of course came out uh, in a newspaper. And so now there are other uh, childcare centers trying to commit to use it. And of course, uh, MCY is also encouraging the 981 childcare centers in Singapore to try to use the system. So this is a comment by Halima Yusuf, MOS from MCYS. Okay, so they are looking at how you use the system and looking at improving productivity and innovation using such kind of technology. So there are other test cases, for example, uh, this was one of our first uh, project, a company called Sonopod. They deal with dynamic sound uh, applications, but um, they have a problem in the sense that there's no way for them to verify that their application, dynamic, dynamic sound, is is better than all the other applications. So they approach us for help uh, to test their application, get users to, to uh, test a few different types of sound applications, and then uh, get a large set of users, collect the data, and then uh, do a comparison. So, so at the end of it, uh, with their results, they manage 
to get their products released and also they managed to secure additional funding from Spring and then uh, I think now if I'm not wrong they're talking to Microsoft okay okay this these are some of the companies that we have worked with uh, in the last one year and um, okay so a bit about today's uh, uh, focus area um, we know okay especially in outdoor media mobile that there's a rising trend of end screens whereas people are looking at using multiple screens to create an experience so those who are here yesterday you saw razor right they implemented uh, the razor blade razor blade actually has two screens one not only one screen so to increase the, the usability the speed so in fact the more screens the merrier well, of course there's a limit okay uh, but uh, the idea is that actually people are now not using just one screen to get information they're using multiple screens and you can think of it at home if you're in front of your TV you're also looking at your uh, your, your notebook computer your mobile devices and sometimes there's an interchange of information between the two and the same can be said for outdoor media right so if you want to create a really experiential a really interactive experience a really engaging experience you will need to make some of these devices talk to each other and have content and application that can you know bring about additional eyeballs that go to your OH. So the use of end screen there's a rising trend. It's a very obvious trend. If you look at a few of these industrial reports you'll find out that it's a rising trend. Okay? And some of these <laughs> devices I show off over here is actually some of these screens that are available in Thomasic Poly. And, and just now when uh, Desmond was doing the introduction you actually saw that there were quite a number of screens and in fact in, in Tomasi Poly we have a network of uh, uh, about 50 digital panels 25 of them are interactive that are set up in the campus for test bedding purposes we also have a, a 10 meter by 6 meter wall set up uh, also for test bedding purposes and uh, which well, we can use for experimentation okay so let me just uh, go on to almost my last slide okay so you see just now I mentioned that you know Devices are talking to each other, not only just your mobile and your OH, your boxes. And people are using new technology like uh, AR, NFC, and of course, uh, even uh, 3D screens, right? And people are implementing analytics behind it so they can collect data or people are looking at your screens. So this opportunity today represents a need by the various demand drivers looking for such kind of interesting applications and things that you know would uh, be able to be used immediately or be able to be developed and then used so this is what i call the next generation of experience on end screens okay so um lastly if you want to look at the details of the call today okay uh put a very big code here you can just scan it and go to the website i think most of you probably would have seen the website Okay, if you need more information, you can, uh, of course, always contact us at our uh, website or our Facebook or send an email to us. Okay, I think that finishes off my uh, presentation. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Tan, for sharing us on the future media test bed. Uh, we can see that um, these are the different panels that we have in Tamasic Poly. Um, we welcome startups and companies uh, to uh, basically experiment with us on the test bed. Yeah.